my average day as a content creator. YouTube it's 1130 and that's what time I wake up so this video is gonna be a little bit different I'm going to be taking y'all with me on um, <clears throat> my average day as a content creator so let's get my day started shall we um, but first before we start my day with some coffee I want to show y'all my bedside we have the Walter Q5 match my Bible and my handy dandy melatonin before i do anything else for the day i need to drink some coffee first so let's do it okay so i start my morning with black rifle coffee ak and my go-to is a french press so we have that seeping right now i also have a cappuccino machine but um it needs to be clean and i don't know how to clean it yet so um we're not gonna go down that road but um while this is seeping i take out the dogs and feed the ducks let's go doing some renovations right now so ignore the wood and tools everywhere over here we have beans um he is in solitary confinement because he is attacking my other ducks you are not allowed to go into gen pop until you get your shit together my other two ducks are over there by the river that is twinkie and peanut there's sunday about to take a shit Let's get their food. Full scoop. Oh, God. This is kind of hard to do with my hand. Now, the ducks have been fed. The dog has shit. And uh, now let's go get our coffee. Yes. I'm the most... <sighs> my most favorite part of the day is getting that first cup of coffee. So I do have an office. However, um, I enjoy the view of my living room window. So I use my laptop to do all of my work. I check my emails. Sometimes I edit uh, videos all sitting right here. Also, just the other day, I stole these two baby mallards from a mom, Perks of Living on the River. Um, she had eight babies, but now she's down to two because literally everything has been eating or killing off these poor babies. Another duck I have right now is Beef. Um, he was a rescue. Hey, yeah, can y'all two be quiet? I'm trying to make a video, please, thank you. And um, this is Beef, he was a little baby, um, but I took him in and so now he lives in a little crate right now until his outside pen is, um, <laughs> finished. He took a baby. He took a baby. So I'll spend some time here doing my emails, posting content, going through any kind of content that I need to make for the day and finish up my coffee. Then I'm going to go brush my teeth and get my face ready for the day. Um, so usually at this time I am making a gun video for YouTube, but since we are doing that right now, I guess we're just going to have fun and shoot. Since this is my bedside that I did mention earlier, this is the Q5 match steel frame. Actually, I haven't shot this in probably, it's been a couple of years, maybe even longer. So since this is my bedside, I should probably shoot it today. I haven't shot this in so long. It's hard not to go fast when I shoot this gun just because it feels so good. It's so good. You need to shoot this gun. You should shoot this gun. Here you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. We shooting the Mark 12 off the back of my truck. Um, I'm pretty sure. I could fry an egg on this thing and I'm burning up. So let's, let's run it. Dude. All right.
as much as this is fun, this is also, also torture. Woo. This build, Clint from Classic Firearms, made this thing as sexy as it is. So, made it a really awesome build. Oh. Oh. You want to see what 30 bucks looks like? That was it. That was $30. Okay, so now that our content is done, when I get home, I drop my files and I make dinner. And then I get ready to uh, stream. So this is my setup right now. It's kind of a mess, but this is what I do every single night for the most part on Twitch. So whenever you see me posting stories that I'm live on Twitch, I'm sitting right here in this space. I stream pretty much every single day on Twitch from 9 p.m. Eastern until about 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, Wednesdays through Sundays. So it's starting to get dark out. So um, before I get dinner started, I have to put my ducks in their pen. So, uh, so I'm done attack them. Beans is an asshole. So I have to put him in his little prison before I let the others in because he likes to attack them. I have to shut this so he don't try to get out. other ones I just gotta put in here. Come on boys. Time for bed. Good boys. Those two are much easier. <laughs> Alright, now we go cook dinner. Oh my god, I can't see anything. So I'm gonna show you some clips of my latest stream playing Demonologist with Heather. Yo, I am so excited. I finally get to share the project that I've been working on with Biofire. If you've been watching me on my social media, I have done a couple of sneak previews of the hashtag unlock Biofire. I can finally say we are unlocking Biofire today. So Biofire is a home defense solution taking the safe storage idea and the instant access and combining them into one. And the best part about it, it requires no corny gadgets, no rings, no watches, none of that crap. All it requires is your face and your fingerprints. I just got back from Colorado a few weeks ago visiting their HQ and being able to actually check out the biometrics in person. And I know you're probably wondering, does the tech even work? Yes, I don't understand the technology side of it, but the biometrics is super freaking fast. It's just as quick and natural as if picking up your phone and having a face recognition, it automatically opens. And it's just as fast as picking up a pistol off the table and pulling the trigger on target. The coolest feature about this is it is always locked unless you are the authorized user, which means you don't have to worry about it being taken away from you or being used against you because they are not an authorized user. You also don't have to worry about mistakes or any misuse. BioFire is instantly accessible. I just pick it up off the table and it's ready to go and it's much faster than having to go through a lock or a safe. But don't just take my word for it. Head to BioFire, click on the link below in my bio and give the configurator a spin to keep your eyes peeled for more content from the team behind BioFire's product and how they built the world's first. Again, click on the link and check them out and get yours before it's too late. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. no, no, no. No, what? why is this game happening to me? No, dude, a f***ing crawling out from behind you and ran at me. Dude, what? you didn't see that? No. What? Ophelia, just right Ophelia. on the freaking canvas. Even if you ain't got no damn arms, use your teeth or some of your feet. Your hair is so bright. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Ah! 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 Magna? Two years. Ah! 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 Oh my god, you bastard! What the fuck was that? Ah! 
So now that stream is done, I have to go give my duck a bath and clean out his pen. Before I head to the gym, I need to give Beef his bath and his little water therapy. We're gonna get the water going and um, put him in. He's already quacking and getting very excited. He's swimming already. It's your bath time. It's your bath time. It's your bath time. Do 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 do. Bath time for baby. <laughs> he starts drinking before he even hits the water. So I let him um, swim around for a little bit, and then I go clean out his pen. <laughs> <laughs> Beef stay in the tub for a while. Usually he'll let me know when he wants to get out. <laughs> you ready to get out? You ready to get out, buddy? Oh, you took a poopy? Good boy. Beef just had his bath, put him to bed. He has fresh food and water and a clean pen. So now I'm going to get dressed and go to the gym. Mm. Okay. Let's go. The coolest part about working out at the gym at 1.30 or 2 a.m. in the morning is I get the whole gym to myself. about 2 30 in the morning where i am officially back home drinking my protein uh shake before bed then i wash my face and get in bed that's pretty much my day and back to where we started it is time for me to go to bed it is about three o'clock in the morning and that's usually when i go to bed i'll do some light reading um probably fall asleep around 3 34 and do it all over again so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell Maybe I'll take you with me on something else that I do on my day-to-day -day basis. All right, good night.